teacher, a lawyer, a doctor, an entrepreneur, an actor, you name it. Somebody got to do it. It's a call to action. We're challenging you to be that person to do it because if you don't do it, nobody going to do it for you. There it is. <laughs> so, so tell us a little bit about what made you start, like what made you start that brand? Now, there's a lot of different clothes brands and that's one thing I like about y'all brand far yeah. as you have and it's not knocking nobody else because i say stuff because i just say what i feel i don't hope nobody will take it personal there's right, a lot right. of clothes lines out here with the intentions of just being a clothes brand right one right. thing about your clothes brand because i watch y'all um is y'all have meaning behind your clothes brand yeah like your movement is definitely something that's needed and far right. as you being you being younger, I, I know you might be younger than me. So I'm gonna say because you're younger, it's a plus right. because a lot of younger generations don't look at us. Not no offense, Mr. Fastlane and, and Carol. They don't look <laughs> at us because we like y'all, y'all old, y'all don't know what's going on, y'all know what's popping and all that. So when we see younger uh, individuals like yourself doing things, is a, a breath of fresh air. Right, so right. Tell us a little bit about why you made that clothes brand to be what it is as far as the foundation of it. I mean, like you said, you mentioned, you nailed it in the beginning. Cause when we thought about this initially, we wanted something that's going to be bigger than self. You know, I could have easily just used my name or something like that, but I've realized like somebody got to do it. It's something that applies to everybody and anything in a positive realm. Like literally as you just taking away any excuses. Cause I realized growing up in Philly, they kind of like had, limited outlets for us like i've seen all right you can either be a sports player or you could be a rapper like it's always trying to put you in a box so when we say somebody got to do it it's for you to look at it like you know what i want people to feel comfortable in anything they want to do because i need people to understand that in order to have a community as a whole we need everybody playing their part if nobody gonna be a doctor who's gonna help us up and we need people to come to our aid if nobody will be firefighters that's gonna be a big dent in the community if nobody gonna be politicians or lawyers we need everybody playing their role so when you can do what you do and realize like somebody got to do it like i got to be this person to do it that's that was the whole goal was like yo let's create something that can just add wholeness and everything that everybody do so they can feel like whole doing what they do because like i said we need everybody playing their part in order for us to be a strong community so that was the game plan in the beginning but it ended up translating to more things that i can imagine so i was just grateful that we put our best foot forward and we just had a vision and we stuck with it. Cause sometimes when you got a plan and not everybody see it, you might get discouraged. Cause when I was telling my friends, like somebody gotta do what? It was kind of, cause I was much younger when I started. So it was uh -huh. hard to explain to people. So I'm just glad that I didn't let that derail me from what I was thinking initially, because what I saw like 70 years ago was like, it's the fruits of the labor starting to show now because it took a while for people to start to catch on and understand because it's something that's not really what people would go for. Like usually you would go for more like a designer type of thing, a catchy thing, or just something that's like your name or stuff of that nature. But I was thinking more community based, like people driven oriented, like, yo, what can I do that's gonna make everybody connect to this? Cause literally I tell people, I'd be having people that's like in their sixties come by this because they'd be like, you know, we just went back to school after all these years and I just want to feel inspired. Like literally it, it's so many demographics, like that's the goal. Like we want to touch everybody. We want everybody to feel like, listen, somebody got to do it, man. Like I said, it's a call to action. Just take initiative and be that person to do it. Then, then let me ask you a question. Let yeah. Me ask you a question. How, how long did it take to get your people that you have known your life? How long did it take for them to get behind Honestly, you? Honestly, the sad truth about that, it took for them to see other people, strangers supporting me for them to catch on because when you start to do good you know how it is sometimes now they want to make it known like oh that's my cousin oh we know him we grew up <laughs> but the cool now when they start to see the strangers because it really took the strangers is really what it's crazy that sound that got my business up and running like to get off the ground because the people i had you know a part of it like i said when I, I was 20 when i started this like seven years ago so maybe a lot of people was not like hip to business or they was much younger or they wasn't at that understanding maturity level but regardless I had too much expectations in the beginning. I just felt like, oh, y'all my family, friends, y'all supposed to support me. But I learned the hard way, like that's not always the case. But when they started to see other people support you, I don't know why it's like that, 
that's when it started to become more, I started to see the people that was supposed to support me initially, they was the ones started to like, all right, you know what I mean? It looked cool to like, yeah, that's our brother right here. So they was behind me after that. But nonetheless, I don't, I take all that with a grain. So I don't really take that person. I learned that from business now. It's like, you don't take these stuff personally. You just charge it to the game. Let me ask you a question. Oh. Yes. I'm sorry, go ahead fast. Go ahead. No, go, 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 go ahead, Carol. Okay. So give us your journey on how you got started to mm -hmm. where it is today. And what did you do? You know what? The funny thing is, I started, I tell people this all the time, the people that know, they heard the story a million times. I actually started this as a hashtag, literally. That was the first way, believe it or not, like I just used it to just put a hashtag, somebody gotta do under everything I do. Like I'm about to go do this shift right now, somebody gotta do it or just left the gym, somebody gotta do it. And I started to like, just be known for that hashtag. So a lot of people around me at the time would just hashtag it as well. Every time they got something going on or they'd be like, you know what, I don't feel like doing this assignment all, all night, but like Yusuf always say, somebody gotta do it. So. I started to get known for a hashtag. I don't know if that's really like a thing. I'm like, yo, it's crazy. I'm walking around, people calling me, and somebody got to do it, guys. So I just had like a, you know, entrepreneur spirit at that moment. Like, all right, if something like this is taken off from a hashtag, that's what led to me to plant that seed of, okay, let me take the next step and just putting it on shirts. That was my only goal. I didn't even think it could go so many different ways at that time. It just was like, all right, the first step was like, let me just put on a t-shirt and then, from there, it, my whole thing was like, all right, let's just see what, like, what we can do with this. Because I always know one thing, like, man, with opportunity, meet preparation, good things happen. I was somebody that always worked hard and just was involved in a lot of different things, like acting, sports. So I had a lot of things I was just doing for myself, but this presented itself. We literally, now that we got a mentoring program, a charity foundation, a talk show, of, that was the plan. But as I mentioned, I just feel like sometimes when you have a certain entrepreneur spirit, in a certain mentality, once you just put your best foot forward, things will fall in the right place if you're consistent and persistent enough. That's that's awesome. That's awesome. And and, yeah. and, and because you started so young and, and, and putting in that work, yeah. you got people to believe in you. And it only takes a stranger right. to believe in you to get the ball rolling. Right. That, that's great. So you say you're doing some things in the community. Can you elaborate on that a little further as far as mentoring and the things that you're doing? Yeah, so with our mentoring program, I start with there. We got we're mentoring twenty kids right now. Uh, we're trying to open it back up to add more kids and probably add more mentors because a lot of people been reaching out. So we basically mentor kids, middle school and high school, to try to get them ready for like the real world. Like basically after high school, like to prepare them. We take them on college tours. We want to see if they want to work like a, a job field or trade school. We basically just want to assist them to and mold them into being the young men that we know they could be. So we just try to give them the tools that we know some of us didn't have growing up or wasn't at our disposal. So we also take them out for sporting activities, eating, like projects. So we just do a lot of stuff for the kids in the mentoring program. As far as the charity foundation, we usually just try to do everything. Like every couple of months, we try to do things for the community. We just actually fed five homeless shelters last month. Before that, we went, we had a scholarship program where we had $5,000 and we had kids just compete and we had five different places. So they just kind of had to like make videos and submit why they deserve the money and where was they playing and going to school and things of that nature. We also went back home. I'm from Senegal, by the way. So last year, I also went back home to Senegal. We was able to feed a thousand people in my village back home. We was able to raise a lot of money on GoFundMe. Thank, thankful to my supporters too, because without them, we was not going to be able to raise the amount we did. And we actually got footages on my page where we went back home and like I said, fed our villages. We also go to schools as well. Like, and that's just something we just, that's something that's, I think that's one of the most joyous part about this business. Like to go to high schools, middle schools and talk to these kids every single month. That's something I really take pride in because I was a quite a troublemaker at one point too in school. So just being able to be on the other side of the spectrum and to have this knowledge that we got right now, we don't take that for granted. So those are just some of the few things we do as far as the community aspect. I don't feel like bad. Say... Mr. Fastlane was a troublemaker too. So it's all right. <laughs> he understood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> well. <laughs> what she's going to say, Carol? No, what I was going to say, and, you know, 
So, Dora, we talked about this, the program I, talk, I told you about for the neighborhood takeover. Um, would it be, to me, it would be a good idea if I connect with this gentleman because he, I believe that I can get young, fresh eyes on it for right. what it is that I want to do for the neighborhood takeover. And that's my hashtag, neighborhood takeover. I like that. Thank I like you. that neighborhood takeover. I like that. <laughs> yeah, I definitely, I definitely, when we get off, I definitely will send him your number and send you his number. If it's all right with you, that you know, uh, absolutely. You know, okay. Yeah, because I think I think with everything that we do, far as the business aspect, the people that I know, not that I don't know yeah. younger people, like I know right. yourself, but I think it's a very important thing to merge that generation, you know, far yeah. as together. Yeah. That way, the yeah. movement can go farther instead of young people doing this older people doing this exactly. and like separate you know what i mean exactly. because what y'all doing what y'all doing is affecting everybody there's no age bracket on exactly. trying to exactly. people and everything like that to move forward when it comes to things you know and and business wise and and i i know i'm gonna get myself in trouble i usually do so there's no need for me to stop now when you look at things there's no place i think in the world and if it is i would like to know that it's a Chinatown, you got Italian market, but you don't have no black town, no black island or nothing like that. So I think it's very important for African Americans to get together to start creating our infrastructure as far as when right. it comes to finance, you know, yeah, and business. You're ahead, right. Ahead, and that's the direction mm -hmm. that neighborhood takeover is about. And to me, it when I talk to him and share what it is that I'm doing, those right. two gaps can merge together because it will reach the communities. And when I did the research, there is 53 communities in the city of Philadelphia, but there's wow. no way I can reach 53 communities by myself. Right, right, right. No way I can do that by myself. So it would take a team to do that. And that's why I shared it with you. Right. Yeah. I'm definitely so, more than uh, anything we do for the betterment of our community and our people, we down for that. Definitely. That's that's awesome, and, 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 and you know what? We need more brothers out there, more brothers and sisters like out there, like like you guys, because we're losing yeah. a generation here. Right, right. We're losing a generation, and it yeah. says, and, and and the saying is, each one teach one. Yeah. But people are so afraid to to talk now that we're even losing the communication factor in life. Right. So, we we don't even talk anymore. We we everything is text. You could be sitting next to a person instead of having a conversation, they right, will right. text the person next to them. And and because we're losing that communication aspect, we're losing a whole generation. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. And, and and what you guys are doing is, is very commendable. And hell, I, I hope before the end of the show that you guys give your information out, and and, and hopefully some of our listeners will even be willing to donate. Whether it's time, money, right. whatever, you know, we need that type of support coming, you know, for you guys because right. that's something great. That's something to save. And if you can save one life, yeah. just one, mm -hmm. you can change somebody's world. Absolutely. Yeah. Real quick, I want to uh, introduce my co host, this jumped on Jay Monet. How are you? you hey, muted. family, how are you? I apologize for my lateness. I was in a meeting. Then we lose Whoa. you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I'm out of there you go, oh, Jay. No, she's come, here. She's coming hey, back Jay. now. That Joe said, bling. <laughs> yeah, Better but late quick, than never, Jay. But while she's getting back on, can you give your website? Hey, like hey, you, hey. You're still breaking up. Well, can you give your website as far as your clothesline if somebody's interested in ordering that? Because you do have the whole clothesline and stuff. You know, oh, yeah, I yeah, like that. Sure. I like thank that you, though. I like the hoodie, man. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I told you, let me know. I'm gonna supply y'all for the film, man. But our website for all the listeners that's watching right now is somebody gotta do it.net. And gotta is G-O-T-T-A, because a lot of times we say somebody is they might view it as got to, but it's somebody gotta. So somebody gotta do it dot net. Cool. Awesome. I'm gonna make sure I post that too. Awesome. Yeah. I'm about to post it now for the listeners. 
that's watching. So they can check it out. That's cool. So for everybody that's jumped on late, uh, is jumping on, you're listening to Door Radio. The station is more than music. If you miss any of the show, you can go back to our YouTube channel and check out the beginning of the show. Or go to wherever you listen to your podcast and check out Sador Radio Podcast. Okay, Jay, let's try it again. Hey, family, I said my apologies. I was in a meeting, but I was I was catching, and I know Miss Carol. Hey, Miss Carol. Hey, Jay. How you doing, honey? I want. I know she all about positivity and bringing everything together. Yes. However, when I got out here, things spoke. Robot, go off again. No, you just robot. That's good. See, that's <laughs> one thing, real quick, real quick, while you get it. Let me tell our listeners and our viewers when you have a show where you got one person with palm trees in the back walking, Mr. <laughs> Fast Lady, then you got another person <laughs> that's in Las Vegas. This is what happens when your show is spread across the country. You know, you got hosts that's not all in Philadelphia, they live in their best life right now. So let's go ahead, Jay, what? try it again. Look, look, now she's going to take her screen off now just to show y'all the sun. Look, look. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was saying my apologies. I was in a meeting. I said, but I'm happy to be back home. And I was saying, I know Miss Carol and what she'd be doing in the community and bringing everybody together. So definitely showing support. And although I am here in Las Vegas, any flyers or anything that you have, I will definitely share and post without question. However, I said I came in when Fazlane was talking about the kids. And I know that I called I called my granddaughter the other day. And she right there in the house and she texted me, Jima, you want me? Yes, I want you. I want you in front of me. Why are you texting me on the phone? You heard me call you, child, text me. You want me? I want you in front of me right now. That's what I want. So, yeah, we have to find a way to reach the youth and bring it together because they lost, yo. You got to talk to them on the phone. Lord. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I support y'all guys. And, again, I apologize, but we here now. Yeah, started from the bottom, now we here. Hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, so um... I, I would I definitely would like to get um some of your your your, your somebody gotta do it where because you know what that is a, that is definitely a great message. Yes. And, and and being down here in Florida, it's not a lot of us down here. That's first. Yeah. The area I live in is 90% light skinned folks and 10% mm -hmm. everybody else. Mm. You know, so sometimes when you have messages like that, it sends a message, and it's not to them, but it's to us that the little bit of us right. that you see is sending yeah. a message to us. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because we need to do more than hear about drugs, sex, yeah. big breasts, big butts. We need to hear some of that that, that positive stuff because right. it's the stuff that you allow into your soul that will change your outlook in life. If mm. you don't let some stuff change your, your outlook, and the only thing that you're concerned about is popping perks, getting high, and, and, and figuring out what's, what's the next thing that's gonna get you hired. And the last thing was, mm. if we have to change that, and the only way we change that, we change it by talking, but we also change it by the things that we do. Right. So, Somebody got to do it. That's a great message because sometimes a person will walk up to you and say, somebody got to do what? Mm -hmm. And that starts the conversation. Exactly. Mm. Well That's said. Good yes. Good point. Good point. Good point. Yeah. Think about that. So, and, 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 and as far as the, the um, mentoring, I know I'm not in Philly but right now, but I'm a Philadelphian forever. And if I'm in town and you guys are doing something, please let me know because I'll no be doubt. there. No doubt. I'll be there. And, and, and the reason that I want to be there is because I spent 23 years working in jail. Mm. I seen people come from being juveniles to turning 18 and being considered an adult. Yeah. And taken from juvenile population and placed in adult population, and then turned around and sentenced to crazy numbers or life. Wow. So we have to change. Yeah. We have to. 
And, and we, 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 we always say, well, what can we do? The first thing we can do is we can do what you guys are doing right now. You guys have stepped up and answered the call. And that's something that we have to do. Stop saying what we got to do. Mm. You guys are leading by example. And, right. and, and I appreciate you guys for doing that because you can still be sitting on the sideline like, well, you know, somebody got to do it. But yeah. Yes, I think. Yeah. I appreciate it. So. That's, 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 that's absolutely true. Like, it's, it's, I think it's to the point that when you, I talk to a lot of younger people and they be like, they don't think that they have 10 years right. left on like they limit their lifespan. Yeah. And it's like, wow, like to talk to a younger person that say 20 or 18, they tell my man, I ain't going to be here long. It's like you planning for your death. I, yeah. I, I, I man. Because of their lifestyle that they yeah. feel that way and they need to change the lifestyle. One yeah. thing I want to share with somebody got to do it is this. I don't know how your organization is being funded. But mm -hmm. a while back, I was invited to this state meeting. Uh -huh. And this funding, like the state has funding for organizations like yours and like mine. Yeah. And once you and I connect and we get together, I will share that with you. Wow. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, because we definitely need yeah. that. This this is where the money should go. Yeah. Stuff like yeah. this is making the change, not to, you know, the poppy stores and to, you know, all this other stuff that's not helping our people. And and even if it, even if say the state don't fund you, this is where us as people have to come together to support our own. That's right, making right. a change. We sit around and we complain about oh this city, the Philadelphia city, people killing. Oh, this city sucks. But what are you doing to try to make a difference? You're right. You know, I see, I see people complain all the time, and I'm like, yeah, well, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> you just gonna sit around and complain? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's one of the reasons why I started Sado Radio is to give people a platform to be able to spread their message because Thank we you. don't. We don't, <laughs> Thank you. We don't you know what I mean, we don't, we really don't have people to support us that, like, if you go to other stations, I'll be, I'll be nice. If you go to other stations, you talk about something positive and I'll use Yvette Murphy, for example, Yvette Murphy is a friend of mine that has an organization called Hands Off and her organization basically educates people about child molestation. Okay. She didn't went to some of the people in the city that's supposed to be quote unquote it you know, all these people that's supposed to be the vibe, they do parties and events and they right. have a big following for them to help her. And they basically turn their back on it. And I'm wow. like, wow, how can you turn your back? And you have the following, you have the money, you're supposed yeah. to be a king in Philadelphia, but you don't even support that. And that's helping children. So wow. where's your mentality at? Like, really, how can I even look at you like you, you know, that person of the city? Exactly. That don't make sense, but you'll throw a party and sell out four or five hundred people, but you won't support this one organization that need help to educate people to protect our kids. That is a very good cause. She has a very good cause. Yeah, and she's passionate about it. I mean, she yes. passionate. Yes. I've seen her on the radio cry when she was on the radio a couple of times, crying about how certain things happen with children. Because she's like, I'm going to protect my babies regardless of what it takes. If it's the last thing I do. Those type of people you have to respect and support. Uh, and people, don't, it don't got to be, it don't have to be millions of dollars. You can give $25 to help her buy, I don't know, food or whatever. And that's the part that people don't realize that it don't always have to be millions of dollars or thousands of dollars that you donate to an organization. It could be just a little bit. If 100 people donated $10, that makes a difference in that organization or their business. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. And, and it's unfortunate that people and, and, and people don't do things for you or don't move for you unless it's beneficial for mm. them. And, and 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 the what makes it even worse, and I have to go a little deeper in that because th this is part of part of our topic today. One of the things that it's, it's our people that is magnified the most. 
you have when you look around at businesses, you you look at Jewish people. Jews support Jews. They support each other. Indians, they will support each other. Caucasians, they support each other. Hispanics, they support yeah. each other. But us, we be ready to tear down each other so fast because yeah. we don't want to see you get ahead. But once you see, once we see that it's acceptable or accepted by somebody else, then they say, you know what? That's my man. I'm supporting him. I got yeah. your back. But we'll never buy anything from you. They want you mm. to give it to them. They don't mm -hmm. want to get, they don't want you to, unless they're going to benefit from it. Like right. if you're selling, and I'm going to just say, let, let's say you're selling hoodies. Right. They won't help you sell hoodies unless they, unless you say, you know what, yo, I'm, I'm going to give you, if you help me sell these hoodies, I'm selling them for 25. I give you 10, you give me 15. Oh yeah, they're going to move for you then. Right. But we don't do anything to help each other unless it's going to be unless it's going to be beneficial for us. And sadly to say, we vote in politicians into these offices, and these same politicians will turn their backs on on us, the same people that voted for them to get into these positions. We they will turn their backs on us because it's not going to benefit them. Right. You know, and um, then election time will come. And then they're doing what? Now they're coming to you, yo, look, I need your support. You know, can I count on you for a vote? No. <laughs> no. So, so Straight up, me, no. Me, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's the way it needs to be answered. So yeah. let me ask you, the, the, you have an event coming up, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, we do. Which, tell me a little bit about that event. So right now, March 27th, which is next Sunday, we got a business panel slash networking pop-up shop going on because I was trying to figure out a way that I can. And on the panel, by the way, I'm bringing other panelists too. Like I'm not just going to, I'm trying to use this opportunity where I can include a lot of people in my community that got different things going on. And I think the more of us on the panel can help people anyway, because somebody on the panel may specify in legalizations, LLCs, and somebody is good at business taxes and I'm good at marketing and XYZ. So I'm just bringing a bunch of different people that I know has, I've been watching from afar that's doing a good job like in the business and that can help our community. And as far as like the networking events type stuff, I got 20 people that's going to get tables to vend and sell their clothes there. And literally mm -hmm. I just wanted people to get their stuff. I charge people $10 for the table. It's not even, so you could say it's not even about making the money. It's just about them, me, telling them I see you and this is a way too I can help them as well because like I said if it's up to me I'm trying to help my whole community but that's hard to do by yourself so every yeah, opportunity a couple dollars yeah that's, that's yeah every opportunity I get I just try to use my platform to open doors because I know if that if somebody do that for me that would be wonders too and I also know what it's like to be supported and I don't take that for granted like he said earlier man like the one person supporting you could take you a long way so so that's March 27th. Like I said, it's going to be in the Southwest of Philly. A nice venue, nice location. We got 20 people vending, five panelists, and you know a lot of people have been buying tickets. So we're looking forward to see how that goes. It's the first time we tried something like this. So I just pray to God everything uh, works out. So let me ask you real quick. With the people that you have, I know when I went on your page, you had, mm -hmm. I like how you, whoever did that too, that was very professional. I loved it. The mm -hmm. far as your name and then what you do and all that type oh, yeah, of yeah. stuff. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Who are some of the other people, real quick? If you could touch on the other individuals that's on there. So one of them is his name is Naeem. He go by um, the Wolf. He actually is the one that does LOCs. He got me minds when I started. He done got a lot of people. He's from ATL, so he's actually gonna be coming down. And the other person, her name is Hawa. She's actually the one that do business tax and just tax in general. So she's coming from Ohio. And the other person is um, Jamisa. She actually is a real estate investor. She got, I believe, like 97 properties she got. So she, I know real estate is a big thing that a lot of people are into. So that's what made me look at her. And the last person is Amina Graham. She does skits. And I know a lot of people is wondering, why did I bring somebody that does 
like just skits because I feel like that's still an avenue. Like, I don't think people understand how hard it is to gain following on social media and post a one minute video that could probably take 10 hours to create. So I think people undermine the process of that. So that's why I wanted somebody like her who's into content creation. I mean, you may just look at it like, oh, she always going viral. She's always like making videos, but I want people to understand the science behind that. Like, just because it looks easy, that don't mean it's easy. Like, like people that, that do cre like content creation or films and all, they will let you know. That's not a uh, one, two step. So that's why I brought her to be the last person to um, close it out. That makes sense. I yeah. Because like you got to so market, got no matter what business you in, you have to market it. <laughs> Look, yeah, exactly. That's, so it's pretty that's diverse. Cool. Now, where yeah. is this at again? Get the information again. So people, if they need to get in touch with you to get tickets or any information, yeah. or do you have still uh, spots for vending or you, you, you pack? Yeah, the vending just packed. It was actually supposed to be kept at 15, but then I've seen so many people still reach out. So I opened five more. But for the space of seating wise, that's what we kept it at 20, just so we don't have it too cramped up, just to make sure like it's still a nice place that's not mm -hmm. gonna be too cluttered. Yeah. So the right. the like I said, the place is in Southwest, it's actually on 65th and Woodland, but the exact location is in my link in my bio too. So if you go on my page, um my somebody gotta do a page, underscore somebody gotta do it on Instagram and all platforms, you're gonna see the link is in our bio as well. So they can definitely click the link and find all the information they need for the business panel that's coming up. Okay, as far as for the clothes, they can go to that same link and find out the link for the yep. clothes also? Yep, okay. same link and they can find out, like how it's going to direct you to our website to get the clothes. Okay. Y'all got anything else? Awesome. Awesome. No. Uh, again, I'm very appreciative of what you're doing. Please, Appreciate don't, don't stop. Don't Thank stop. You. I, I, I know it gets tough at times and you yeah. like, man, why am I doing this? Yeah. Don't stop because you're making a difference in somebody's life. And doing a good job is like wetting your pants with a pair and, and, and you're wearing black pants. You oh. feel it, you know yeah. it, but nobody else will see it. Wow, that's it's deep, when, it, it, It's when you're doing the, the other stuff that everybody wants you to be doing. When, when you're failing because you got other people out there that don't want to do right, that people pay attention to you. Right. But keep doing what you're doing because people are watching. I appreciate know. it. I really do. I really do. I appreciate that. Carol, you, know. Carol, you got anything else, Carol? I'm going to say congratulations to your organization and much success to you. And Thank we'll you. connect. We will definitely connect. We will, definitely. We definitely yes. will. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah. I was just say, stay encouraged, young sir. I love everything I'm hearing. I'm so Thank proud of you and every everyone that you're bringing. Like those are all facets that we need in life. So like right. just your wisdom, you bringing it together. Stay encouraged. Continue to trust that God got you, no matter what it looks like. Thank and that's what I heard you say. You said as long as God, God is for you, don't worry about who's against you. You building up people. You building up communities. Recognize your strength and continue to remember: the more so, that has been, the more is required. You way, baby. Continue to be blessed. Thank you. I really appreciate you. Know what? I appreciate really you good. jumping on. We definitely gonna have you on again, you know, in a little bit oh. to promote. Anytime you have an event or anything, definitely reach out to me. Let me know. Anything no that doubt. we can do to uh, support and help or promote, we here. And All vice right? versa. If y'all ever need me with anything y'all got going on, any way me and my team can help out like this, we're more than welcome. Like, we're more than welcome to help. Thank y'all so much. I really, truly appreciate this. I appreciate no that. No doubt. Cool. And, and just, just before you go, um, because I know we're running short on time, but just before you go, make sure you give the people the ways to contact you again. Okay. So just to close out, like I said, y'all can follow us on all platforms. It's somebody got to do it. And the got to is G-O-T-T-A. And also my personal page is Yusuf Njai. Um, my name is pretty long, so I'm going to say it slowly. It's Y-O-U-S-S-O-U-P-H. N is in Nancy, D is in David, I A Y E. So, either one you see, you're gonna see my business and everything we do on either pages. 
I appreciate everybody checking us out on Shador Presents Open Conversation Show for this past uh, hour. If you want to watch the show, you can go to YouTube and check out Shador Radio or go to your podcast and listen in to Shador Radio Open Conversation Show. Thanks, Ms. Carol, for jumping on here when I needed Thank you. you for having me. Today. Thank you. Be safe out there. We don't want to see yeah. your water, man. Don't be teasing us. We don't want to <laughs> see that crap. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Fastlane, enjoy yourself. I appreciate you. Everybody have a listen, great night. Listen, you know what? Before we go, you know why I do that? And, and I, I alluded to it earlier. And Mark, you know this just like anybody, because we grew up together, especially those teenage years. People say we can't do it. Yeah. We can't do it. There's no way you getting out the hood. It's mm -hmm. no way that you're going to do something right. with your life unless you are a ball player. Right. Unless you are a rap artist. But you know what? God is good. Absolutely. I'm not a ball yeah. player. I'm not a rap artist. I'm just a hardworking individual that Absolutely. wanted more for himself. And when I look at this stuff around me, this stuff is so easily attainable that mm. you just have to work at it. Right. You know? and, and, and that's why I had to show that view again, because... It, it might come across as me gloating or something like that, and I would never want to do that. But it just shows that what you want, you can get. You Absolutely. can get out. Yes. You Man. can get out. You just have to do it. Man, you know damn well you tried to rap in 1990. You thought you was going to be prom. <laughs> <laughs> you know we used to have a keyboard to tape deck and anything thought we was rappers <laughs> I talk to y'all hey. man y'all be safe right, I appreciate it uh, y'all have a good one, one. alright thank y'all thank you thank y'all right. good night